All right, guys, um, before I get into uh, this next video, I just wanted to get a few things out of the way. First of all, um, all of these pages will be on page 15 and 16 of the PDF that I uploaded yesterday. Um, so if you're wanting to print this out or even if you're wanting to have your own digital copy, that's where you can go to see these problems. OK, so I'm going to go through two problems and then I'm going to give you all three that you can work out on your own. Okay, we're going to start with this one. This is actually a review from what we did yesterday. So looking at this problem, it reads, what is the measurement of the angle shown on the protractor? So we are simply just looking for the measurement, and we notice right away that one of these rays is pointed right at zero, right? So this is telling us that we're going to use the inner set of numbers in the protractor, right? So I would go ahead and circle that zero so I don't mix it up. I don't start looking at these top numbers rather than these bottom numbers, okay? And then I wanna figure out next, what two numbers is this second ray pointing between? So if we're using the inner set, I would wanna circle 80 and 90, okay? And this is the point where I need to try my best to figure out what exactly that second ray is pointing to, what degree that second ray is pointing to. So I'm gonna line up a piece of paper, really anything flat that you have around will work. And um, I think I did this for one problem, but it's a really good uh, habit to get into. Just extend that ray out. You know, use the edge of your paper, use the edge of your ruler, whatever you're using to extend it out and then you can see exactly where it lines up with. So after I do that, I see that it's to that halfway point, right? And that means halfway between 80 and 90. So that is 85 degrees. So this whole space from here to here is 85 degrees. So now I just match with my answer. So it'd be B. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next problem. Okay, so this one is asking us, which shows a measurement of 135 degrees? So I'm gonna circle my number here. So how would you wanna solve this problem? Well, what I would wanna do is I'm gonna find the degree of each of these, right? And then I'm matching with the answer. Okay, so let's start with A. So I see, and I'm gonna kind of zoom in, but again, this is why you probably wanna be looking at your own electronic resource when you do this, okay? Hopefully it's not too blurry. Um, okay, so you see that this ray right here is pointing toward the zero in the inner set. So again, we're gonna use that inner set of numbers. You look at the second ray, it's pointed between 50 and 60. Okay, let's get our flat surface so we can extend that ray out. So I'm just gonna use the edge of a paper and Sometimes it's a little difficult to get perfectly lined up. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna, yeah, bumped it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna just extend it outward and it isn't at the halfway point, right? So now I wanna ask, which number am I closest to? Okay, well, it looks like I'm a little bit closer to 50, right? Because the halfway point's right here and I'm to the right of it. I'm closer to the number 50. So I'm gonna start at 50 and just kind of count over for each of those notches. So I have 51, 52, 53, okay, so this is 53 degrees, this space right here. Okay, so that doesn't match, right? That's way off. So what I'm gonna do is just eliminate it, right? And we're gonna go that, we're gonna eliminate as we go until we narrow it down to one answer. Okay, now I want you to look at B. What do you notice that's different about it? So the main thing I notice is that there's no ray that is aligned with zero. So we're gonna have to solve this in a little bit of a different way. We're going to have to find the degree that each of these ray, rays passes through. Okay, so that's your first step when you're trying to find the degree of an angle that does not align with zero. Okay, and when you have a number, or I'm sorry, when you have an angle that doesn't align with zero, you have to decide what set of numbers you're gonna use. It doesn't matter what you use, but you have to be consistent and only use one set of numbers. So for the sake of showing you how to solve this problem, I'm just gonna use the outer set, okay, up here. So we'll start with this ray. So I see that it's between 40 and 50, okay. So now, like normal, I'm gonna, and I just kind of found a, uh, a ruler near me, it's a little bit easier, um, but paper would still work, especially if you have a thicker paper. Um, so I'm gonna extend this out, and I see that it is closer to the 40, but just by a little bit, right? It's one notch over from that halfway point, so that would be 44 degrees. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the second ray. So I'm gonna use my ruler, 
and I'm going to extend that line outward. Okay, and I can see that I drew it a little bit crooked, so I'm going to try to fix it. And um, if you only have an electronic version, don't worry about getting this perfect. Um, you know, just kind of uh, make an estimation because it's not going to change your answer, at least not with this problem. Okay, so we extend it outward. Okay, and I, I pretty much fell in the same place. So that would be, which is it closer to, 130 or 140? Well, it's one notch to the right of that middle point, so I would say this is... 136 degrees. Okay, now that we have these two degrees, since we're working with the outer set, what we just determined is from zero to this ray is 44 degrees, right? And from zero to this ray is 136 degrees. But this doesn't give us the information we quite need yet, right? Because we're not measuring this area right here, right? That area needs to be taken away. We just want to measure this area. So how we can figure this out is we're going to want to subtract these two numbers to see what this space is minus the space over here we're not measuring, right? Okay, so we do 136 minus 44. Okay, we do 6 minus 4 is... 2, here we have to borrow from the 1 in the hundreds place, so that becomes a 0, and then we add 10 to the tens place, so 13 minus 4 is 9, so the degree from here to here is 92 degrees, so that doesn't match, right, so we can eliminate B, okay, and here's what I'm going to do. For these two, I want you to go ahead and pause the video, and I want you to solve these two on your own. So go ahead and pause now. All right, I'm going to assume you're back, um, and now you can check your work, okay? So let's look at C first. So C, we're using the outer scale because this ray points to zero. We look up here, it's between 120 and 130. We use a ruler or any other flat surface to extend this out and we see it's about 127 126 somewhere around there right it's not going to change your answer um regardless of which which in individual knot or which individual notch it goes through right okay so c we can eliminate it's quite a ways away from 135 okay so we go to d pretty sure this is going to be our answer but we still want to prove our work right so we're looking at the outer scale we look here this is going to be going between 130, 140. That's a good sign so far, right? Okay, and I bet you this is going to be 135. We extend it out, and it looks like it's almost through 136, but that could be, you know, an error for me drawing the line. The important thing is it's between the right two numbers, right? So this is the only available choice left. I'm going to label this as 130. Five, and then we match and D is our answer okay so the main new thing we've learned is with this problem right here so I'm going to do a quick little review so first you have to find the degree of each of these rays and then you have to get rid of everything that wasn't included in the actual angle which is from here to here which in this case was the 44 degrees so that requires subtraction the main thing you have to remember is whatever the degree is of this ray and this ray you subtract it to find the degree of the angle, okay? All right, let's look at the next page, and this is page 16, okay? So this is the point where you can pause this video to see these problems, or you can go to the PDF that I sent out yesterday and look at um, page 16. Okay, so for 8, it's asking you to find the degree of an angle, and notice nothing is aligned with 0, so you're going to have to use the subtraction method. Number 9 is going to be kind of a review. And then number 10 is a little bit like that last problem we just solved, but be very careful. I want you to read this carefully, and you will be boxing some keywords, okay? Or I will say boxing a keyword that is very important, okay? So read that very carefully. Um, again, pause here if you're using this video to solve it. Otherwise, it's on page 16. Um, okay, one more thing. Um, please uh, make sure that you read the instructions that come with this assignment on uh, Google Classroom because what I want you all to do, yes, I do want you to solve these problems and you can upload your answer 
um, onto Google, your answers onto Google Classroom, but also I would like you to work on an iExcel skill that's directly related to this. And although I'm not taking grades this week, in the future your grades will come mainly from uh, iExcel, okay? So look for the letter and number that I'd like you to work on on Google Classroom, okay? And of course, if you have any questions, please post comments um, uh, either, you know, on Google Classroom or on Class Dojo. All right, thanks guys. I will see you next time. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing a couple more things on angles, um, so see you then.